protocol has four documents um, and each correspond to a different stage of a hydropower project. The first is the early stage tool and we use that to look at multiple projects. So we might, might be using it to screen ten projects to find one that is, is the best to go forward to the planning stage. It's really a, an advanced hydropower specific risk assessment tool. The, the second is the preparation stage document and that looks at a hydropower project probably after an EIA has been completed, in between the completion of an EIA and the finalization of the, the preparation before the project goes to construction. So when the management plans are being developed, um, additional research is being done and the project is being designed. Then we use the um, implementation stage tool uh, for the project when it's during its construction phase. And then we have an operation stage tool for the project during its operation. So the, the protocol has four documents and those documents cover every life stage of a hydropower project. To date we have looked at projects from 3 megawatts to 3,700 megawatts. But the protocol can be used on projects of all, of all scales. It, we are planning to visit uh, the Itaipu project which is 12,000 megawatts. All assessments are done by independent accredited assessors. Um, the assessors are prohibited from assessing a project that they have any association with or any conflict of interest. The project developer gets to review the, the assessment and correct any, um, anything that is not factually correct, but the judgments are the assessors and, and are final. But for example, the assessor might say there is a problem with the project because they haven't assessed the water quality in this tributary and um, the developer might come back and say, well, you, you missed this report on the water quality in, in, in the tributary, it's here. Um, so, um, you know, it's, this isn't, isn't in fact a problem. I think the business case for doing an assessment is now very strong. Um, more and more developers are getting back to us with positive feedback about the, the way that a protocol assessment helps them to reduce the risk uh, associated with projects. Um, help them to manage um, sustainability issues internally. It also helps them to communicate with their stakeholders um, on sustainability uh, issues. One area that is, is increasingly popular is also improving access to finance by um, either negotiating a lower rate because they can prove that they have a, a more sustainable project or um, highlighting to a potential investor that this is a project worth investing in. To undertake an assessment you can contact any of the accredited assessors or you can contact IHA and we will put in place um, all of the measures needed to undertake an assessment. Some companies choose to have training on the protocol before they go on to do an assessment. Um, others might choose to go directly into a, an assessment.